Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and this is the Swift Tech Apogee Drive 2. This is the water block with the integrated pump, and this is the Intel Socket 2011 pump and water block combo. So it's, the box is pretty uneventful. And we open it up, we get the installation manual here. And what's included in the box, a word of caution before you begin. Take a look here, they've included some Swiftec uh, Timmate thermal paste. We have a couple of barb fittings. We've got, uh, it, it, it has color inside, so this would be the green one. I guess I'll have to go in a little more detail when I take the pump out. And this is the blue filter to make the light blue. And we have some clamps on the bottom for the barb fittings. So basically where those this is uh, the red is installed right now so you can pop those four screws off change the red out for the green or the blue or remove the red altogether and I believe then you will just get the white so here is a look at it we've got a four pin Molex uh, that's sleeved very nicely very uh, very tight sleeving and good heat shrink there and then we also have a PWM there so what we're going to end up with if I can get this thing there we go so got the PWM and the power entering into there and then uh, I believe okay, there goes the light and let me get a little bit more information here um, in a second yes yeah, so we have the bottom here it's got plastic protecting it now though but there's a decent look at the how reflective the bottom is I'll show it again when I get ready to install it but that is what is included in the box and now we'll move on and do an install on this uh, Big Bang motherboard the X Power 2 from MSI and the CPU in there is a 3930K so anyway let's continue on with the uh, uh, installation okay so I missed a couple of features anyway um, so what we have here is it's going to uh, draw power from both the Molex and the PWM so if you just plug the Molex in it'll be at its maximum which I believe is 4500 RPMs and if you use them both you can get it down to a, uh, a much uh, lower RPM as well too so I would recommend using both and that way you can control the speed of the pump uh, so it's not too loud also we can unscrew these sides and then it will allow this fitting to be rotated a little bit uh, one step this way or once well I guess you probably can't well may not be able well it may be may or may not be able to go one step that way depending on the location of uh, the screw when it mounts to the motherboard and the same with this one here depending on uh, the screw location this one can mount one step this way or one step that way or just straight up but here's the inside and the outside so I'm going to guess that it will be installed like so with the cords I think that's the way I'm gonna do it with the cords out the top and there we are so now we'll continue on and first things first is where you're going to change the color here because my build has absolutely no red in it. Well, it's hard to do this to the viewfinder. So after all the screws are out, we get that there to come out and now we see where we have that 
piece of plastic over the LED light there. So if we kind of just if we get that to twist there there we go so I wish not to use a color so I am going to just let the white light show through okay so now I've removed that one um, color the red out and I just left the LED hanging there so hopefully that looks okay uh, I really don't have any green blue or red in my build so hopefully that white works out if not then I can always just add one of the uh, one of the colored deals later but uh, we'll see what turns out or I guess I could always disable the LED possibly as well too but I'll take a look at that definitely do not want to power this pump up it would be a very bad idea to power it up without water in it uh, to see what that light looks like so yeah, we will just uh, definitely not do that and wait for the final build to check it out. Okay, so now, moving right along, we'll attach it to the motherboard. So, there we go. We've got the CPU block and pump installed now onto the motherboard. And it causes it to bow a little bit. It felt it felt like a pretty uh, pretty tight fit when I went on there. So, anyway, this uh, will conclude the install of the SwiftTech Apogee 2 water block and pump kit. And again, this is the Socket 2011 motherboard here. And as always, thank you for watching.